Hey there YouTube, it's Vinny here for another edition of Cap of the Week and this week we're going to play two as Ernie Banks used to say. We're going to have two caps featured. They're both the same types but one has hang tags and the other doesn't. So without further ado, let's get to it. This is a New York Yankees 1922 to 1930 Cooperstown ball cap that was made by the Roman Pro Cap Company. Now this is the cap that in this, that was built in the style of Murderer's Row, where you have Babe Ruth, you have Lou Gehrig, you have Bob Musil, you had Miller James Huggins managing the team. So this is the cap of, you know, when you see Babe Ruth and those, um, you know, fast motion footage of him running around the bases. So the first thing you're going to notice is it's a floppy cap, and that's by design. The caps at the time did not have the stiffening material known as buckram in the front two panels, and so the cap is going to pretty much contour with your head when you're wearing it. So you're not going to have that bulge that you see in 5950, especially the modern ones. And this is made by the Roman Pro Cap Company, so this hat is out of, out of style in the sense that they no longer manufacture the cap. Uh, the company went out of business over 20 years ago, but you can find them on eBay, so that always helps to have that secondary marketplace. And in addition to the, to the shorter bill, if you'll see, notice, it's, this is a shorter bill. I'll, I'll give you a comparison of a, a modern 5950 cap, a longer bill versus the shorter bill. You'll also notice that it is pretty curvable, um, flexible, so that's always nice to see. And Roman Pro Caps do usually have leather bands if the vintage of the time called for it. So these are the leather bands. Uh, once again, it's a little bit of a flimsier material because it's not made to the high specs for major league play. Um, you know, this is more for casual wear, so it does the it does the job pretty well. It's a faded tag, but it says Roman, Brockton, Massachusetts, USA. You have your size 7 tag. And on some later Roman Pro Caps, you will see a Major League Baseball Cooperstown Collection logo. Sorry about that, it's a little tough to focus, but uh, it's a pretty cool uh, old school tag. Uh, that's what the Cooperstown Collection tags used to look like back in the day. And then you'll see no Batterman logo in the back. And then you also have eight panels. So these old school caps have eight panels as to post the traditional six uh, as of the time. And you'll see here the old New York Yankees logo and I'll give you a modern 5950 Yankees cap to maybe show the difference between old and new so you know you can see how the Yankees logo has been tweaked over the years and so American Needle I believe makes a modern replica of this which is pretty good too I think everything besides the leather headband is the only difference and I did say I was going to show you two caps of the same so this is actually the same cap maybe by Roman Pro I was able to to find two online, one to wear for everyday use and one for storage and memorabilia keeping. But anyway, what's cool about Roman Pro Caps is that they actually have these little cool fun facts. So New York Yankees 1922 to 1930, this was worn by the 1927 Yankees, considered to be the greatest team of all time. And it gives you a little facts and history about some players and the record of that year. So these Roman Pro caps are pretty cool if you get the Cooperstown collection made it um, probably late 80s, early 90s. And you'll see the uh, Cooperstown logo and a little bit clearer from the uh, inside of the cap. You'll see authentic Roman and it gives a little more facts about the Hall of Fame. Um, so it's a pretty cool cap. Uh, I love wearing this. It's surprisingly breathable when I wear it in hot weather. The sweat does stay on the leather band, but you can always wipe it off with some cloth. And you know, you definitely get people asking, that's an interesting cap because just the way it contours to the size of your head, there's no bulging out. So you definitely get a lot of looks and ask, hey, where'd you get that cap? Uh, so try online. I think New Era might, at one time they have made it in the past, but your best bet would be to go online secondary market and try to see if you can find it. It's a pretty great find. And until next week, have a good one.